So welcome to today's little review video about the Boku Ondo Shadow Black Japanese colors. Um, the set comes in this um, little uh, cardboard box. Um, we can read Shadow Black uh, and Boku Ondo Company Limited made in Japan and it uh, has um, six different colors inside, which are in this big um, Gansai Tambi styled um, pants. And you can um, get them out very easily. They are not uh, glued or something. They are just uh, put in the box. And um, so if, it, if you uh, accidentally drop them and they fall out. They have a print uh, on the bottom with uh, the name or a number code. And so you can easily um, see uh, which color is which. You can see now uh, in comparison with a full pan uh, watercolor pen that it is um, way bigger. So it is as uh, wide as uh, the, the full pen is long and the height uh, is the same but you can see uh, uh, or you can uh, uh, see when I put my finger inside that it's not completely filled and that it's not because I uh, use them a lot but because they are only half filled every time you buy them and that is uh, something I've read a lot of comments and bad reviews uh, in this or other similar sets and also on Gansai Tambi sets uh, um, that um, this is a bad quality product because uh, the pants are not full or um, that they want to uh, scam you uh, with half filled uh, pants and stuff like that. And that is just not true because they actually have a very good reason why the pants are this big and why they aren't filled completely. And the reason is that uh, these pens are designed to be used with a big traditional Asian styled calligraphy brush and they are very big traditionally and um, that's why the pens are that big so that you can go in in, in the uh, with your brush in the pen easily without damaging the bristles because there are a lot of professional calligraphists, for example, in Japan, and I've seen um, a lot of uh, documentary stuff about uh, uh, them and about the brush making uh, process. And um, yeah, high quality calligraphy brushes can cost to up to prices like twenty or thirty thousand dollars, and when you have a uh, brush like that which such a high price of course or maybe a lower kind of brush which still cost a few hundreds or a few thousands you don't want to damage it with uh, pressing your brush in a smaller pen and that's the reason why the pens are that big and that's also the reason why they are only half filled because then you can use a lot of water inside the pen without creating a horrible mess on your table and uh, yeah so that's the reason it is not because they want to scam you and it is not uh, badly produced or so it is is just very thoughtful of the original use of uh, the product which is in traditional asian um, painting styles or in traditional calligraphy um, the use originally. So I just wanted to mention that because I feel that it's very important because there's a lot of um, misinformation and a lot of unnecessary anger. Um, the volume some people have um, really uh, calculated that um, is around a full pen and a half pen combined. So you get around uh, one full pen and a half pen uh, in your color volume in one of those Gansai Tambi styled uh, pens. And it doesn't matter if it's uh, here a Boku Ondu or a Kuretake or a Kisho uh, Gansai Tambi, it doesn't matter that the pens are all uh, the same. They're all the same size and 
all of them are half filled, so they are all around the same uh, volume of, uh, of, uh, of the color as well. So the next thing um, I feel is very important is to mention that um, most Gansai Tambi styled colors don't use gum arabic as a, a binding agent. Mostly uh, it is used some kind of animal glue. So if you are vegan or vegetarian and you don't want to use um, animal products uh, which contains uh, and bone uh, uh, made of bones, uh, uh, the, the glue made of bones in, in the colors, then please uh, be aware that most of, uh, of those um, traditional um, styled colors are made with, with um, animal glue. So I didn't find any information about the Boko Ondo set. So if you have uh, information about the, the uh, binding, binding uh, uh, agent in, in them, please let me know in the comments. I would be uh, very thankful for the uh, information, but I couldn't find any, but I know that other um, uh, Gansai Tambi um, producers are um, um, using animal glue like Kuretake, for example. I know there are a lot of information in the internet saying that uh, they are vegan, but they are not. If you want to read um, it in detail, I can recommend the blog from Kimberly Crick, which uh, she have, she have uh, screenshots with um, uh, when I think it was Jackson's talked uh, uh, with uh, Kuretake directly and they admitted that they are not vegan. Okay, so to this set here, we have six different colors and it's all uh, a different kind of black. We have reddish black, yellowish black, greenish black, bluish black, purplish black and brownish black. And um, I think important to know is that it are that that are not traditional Western styled watercolors. It are more um, um, traditional Japanese styled uh, watercolors like uh, Gansai Tambi colors, but I'm not quite sure um, because Boku Ondo offers absolutely no information um, if they are uh, dye based or if they are pigment based. I guess that they are dye based because um, it is traditionally it are uh, that are a Zumi ink colors and Zumi is the Japanese word for ink, so e Zumi ink is practically, you say, uh, ink ink, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and the E uh, stands for um, for color. That's what I've uh, found out while I did a little bit of research. And um, traditionally, Izumi ink today, you can buy it um, as the traditional sticks, which are used since thousand <laughs> or hundreds of years, I don't know how long, but at least a few hundred years. Um, and um, today you can also buy uh, Izumi ink in, in bottles and, and classic uh, ink uh, bottles and uh, also in uh, some kind of watercolor style like uh, this set as well. Traditionally, it was only black and uh, you used it for uh, writing, for calligraphy, and also for what uh, what is um, known as zumi e or uh, e zumi um, painting style, where you um, you've probably seen those pictures only with uh, black. Um, traditionally, it was only with black ink, and in um, very various um, gray. Um, when you dilute it a little bit more with water, um, we have these white papers with like um, a traditional Japanese house and, and a few uh, leaves or stuff like that. So simpler, simpler designed, very, very beautiful um, landscape or animal paintings. And um, somewhere, in between 
um, it changed from using only black to also using colors, colors muted with black like we have here in the set. So um, sometimes you have um, pictures where um, you have, for example, a very bright red sun and the rest is black or sometimes you have um, paintings where you have um, only the use of uh, muted color like we have in this set. So I think um, it really depends on what are you um, drawing um, if you have use of uh, colors like this. Um, I guess when you say you are um, drawing a lot of landscape or uh, like to do urban sketching, I could imagine that they are very useful. But um, please be aware um, that uh, Izumi watercolors like this or Gansai Tambi um, watercolors are not uh, the same as uh, Western watercolors. It does, doesn't say that they are better or worse or um, that uh, they are easier or uh, harder to work with. Uh, they just um, are different. So um, what I find uh, found out uh, while using them in the past is that they all lift uh, very, very easily. So um, depending on how you, you are um, working, how you do your art, um, if you need uh, colors which lifts easily or not, um, offer what um, special you kind of use if you only use them as a background color where you don't have to glaze over and over again, for example just depending on how, how you are working. Or you could, could also use them perfectly as a last glaze for the deepest shadow um, part, for example. If you are, whatever you are coloring, you can use those as a last uh, 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 shadow color uh, very, very easily as well. So just before you buy it, um, think about what, uh, for what purpose do you want to use those colors? Um, are you in need or do you use muted colors at all? And are, um, are you um, already using um, Gansai Tampi pants so, um, or colors so that you are knowing how um, they are behaving um, when working with them? Or are you... Um, um, at the point that you say you haven't worked with them, but you have no problem with uh, training a little bit differently. Because like I said, they're just, they're, it is just different to work with colors like those. And it is nothing bad. It is just something to be aware of so that um, you know, you will have to maybe try um, some things you you um, already know uh, how to do it with normal watercolors. Um, but maybe you have to work a little bit different. And if you are uh, at the point that you say, yeah, I have absolutely no problem to try out how they work and maybe um, learn it a little bit, at least uh, how to work with them. So yeah, just to be aware of. I think that is very important. I think personally it is a very uh, nice set um, and it is very easy because you have ready to use colors. You don't have to mix anything. So if you are a little bit mixing lazy like I am, they are very, very perfect because you can use them straight, uh, straight out of the pan and don't have to mix uh, different colors um, to get at that point. Of course, you could also say you are um, using um, a black uh, watercolor and mix it with uh, some colors to get similar uh, colors at least. Um, but um, like I said, I have no clue if they're using uh, dye or uh, pigments here. So um, we don't have any information about uh, what it is, uh, what they're using inside. We don't have any information about uh, the binding agent and we don't have uh, any information about light fastness. Uh, but I know that a lot of um, those Gansai Tampi styled uh, colors are and the light fast. So uh, that is something I am 
um, think is super important to know that um, I wouldn't rely uh, them to be uh, light fast because um, if they are really um, ink based like um, the the um, uh, description is telling then they are dye based and most dyes aren't uh, light fast in uh, any kind of watercolor so I personally only use them in works I know I will not hang up on the wall, I will not give to someone else or sell to someone else, uh, like for example work in my sketchbooks and stuff like that. They are really fun to use um, and yeah, I hope um, that this was helpful. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure how good they are. Um, working if you are mixing them together, like uh, if you mix the yellowish and the reddish black together to create an orangey uh, kind of black. Um, I have never tried it, this. Um, I know that at, um, you can read or hear in a lot of uh, videos and um, articles that uh, Gansai Tambi pen pens are always not uh, able to mix together and that is wrong you can mix colors um, Gansai Kambi colors together but um, of course because um, you don't get any pigment information and a lot of those colors are um, convenient mixes um, you are um, sooner at the point where you get a muddy um, result and a color which you uh, which looks just uh, nasty so that is just something to be aware of but it doesn't mean you can't mix them you can definitely mix colors um, I'm just don't know uh, how good the uh, uh, a Boko Ondu color uh, mix with uh, another Boko Ondu color or with another kind of watercolor because that is something I never tried before Okay, so yeah, thank you very much uh, for watching this video and I really hope it was helpful and informative for you and maybe helpful to decide if uh, that is a set uh, which you are interested in buying. Um, I've buy bought my set uh, um, a few years back, so they were, um, I bought it around um, 12 or 13 euros in, an, in a sale. Um, as our world situation um, is at the moment that everything just goes, um, gets more expensive, um, uh, sets like this uh, are also more expensive. Um, I've seen them in Germany for around 20 to 25 euros. I don't know um, what, um, how much it is in, in other countries. So just um, so that you have a at least a little bit of uh, information what does the set cost um, just uh, you just have to look it up in in your um, your country and um, I know that on pages like uh, AliExpress for example you um, every once in a while they are on a sale and then you can get them somewhere between 15 to 20 euros so maybe if you are interested in, in colors like this and you say you don't have any time pressure then maybe you just wait a little bit and see if you can get a good sale offer okay if you liked this video i would be very thankful for a thumbs up or a follow so that you can't miss um, other um, videos like this because i also have the second Boku Ondo set and a an, um, similar set from uh, Kuretake that I will uh, do a video about soon. So if you don't want to miss it, please um, leave, uh, leave me a follow. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful day and hopefully see you soon. Bye.